so, uh, Jeep. Wild Child, as you guys know, has been kind of put on stall because uh, when we did the um, front axle and suspension, we pushed the front axle so far forward that we couldn't use a steering box anymore. And um, it was just as cost, of, cost effective to put together a hydro steer kit than it would have been to buy everything we needed to have in order to put a uh, Chevy Astro van box on and maybe it worked, maybe not. So, um, project's been on hold, not really hold, but we've been kind of dragging our feet a little bit on it because we needed some last minute components. And um, we finally got it. One of our fans, Gary Byington of Connecticut, sent us the tie rod kit from Barnes for Old Drive. So this is the last piece of our steering setup and we'll be able to do this. Um, thanks Gary, you're awesome. You know, we love you man, you're, awesome. you're, 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 you're amazing. So uh, let's see what this kit comes with. Now, the Barnes kit, if you are happy to put together your own hydraulic system like I did, uh, everything that is required to finish off your tie rods, so your your links and uh, um, Himes tubing and everything else, it was like five hundred dollars. Let's right see. Around. But this is this is everything. Let's see the list that we that was ordered for us. So we got the clevises for the hydraulic cylinder all of our spacers and you know all that good stuff and then we have the chromoly joints for the chromoly himes jam nuts um just everything everything here so let's see what that stuff looks like that's a lot of stuff in a little box oh the cat's drinking my water Look, I'm so glad I saw her drinking my water. Mm -hmm. Dang it. So there's our link tubes. Um, and then here's the Himes. So a lot of people don't really know what Himes are. Um, these actually were started off in the aviation industry as ways to uh, link up on components like propellers and uh, on helicopters for the swash plates and everything else. So it's one of those situations where the aviation industry and the off-road industry kind of collided and made something really good. So there's that. What are they made out of, do you know? They look... Chromoly. Oh, wow. Chromoly steel. So that, that clevis is gonna go on the hydraulic ram and then this will go in there. Just cool. like that. There's the other clevis. These nice. things are freaking expensive. Dude. Yeah, and I was so, going to say that's I mean, probably... For me to have made this oh, yeah. here at the house, it would have been, so oh my gosh, it was... And these, look how thick these things are. Mm -hmm. really... So that's like 60 wool. Here are the Weldon bungs. Bungs? Bungs, they're called bungs. Bungs. These go inside here like this. Oh. Like that, and then we weld that in, right? Welding, yay! And then this will go on like that. Oh, okay. And then this will go, and then we'll have another one like this. And these will go on either side like that. Cool. Huh? Cool. What? And are they gonna be above the axles in the front and back, or just the front? This is just for the front. This is just for steering. Front end, okay, for front, steering. For the steering. So this, this is this is actually the mechanical link that goes between the hydraulic ram and the steering knuckle, uh, kind of like on a rack and pinion steering system Excellent. for a car. So this yeah. would be our tie rod links. Okay. So instead of having one long tie rod that goes across the whole entire vehicle that handles our steering, our hydraulic ram is acting as a rack and pinion. Yeah. But there's no mechanical connection between the steering wheel and the, the, the uh, hydraulic ram. So it's all hoses from our That's steering right. uh, our steering column down to 
uh, the, the ram itself. We don't right. have any more bars reaching down, going across, anything else like that. Yep. Uh, less stuff to break, less stuff to bend, um, ultimately less components. Uh, if we break a line, yep. um, we'll have enough leftover line in our system where we can cut out a section. Of course, we'll keep some stuff in so we can make repairs and whatnot. Um, so this is actually going to be a lot better for what we're doing. And where you're, you'll be driving, right? Um, the, your steering will be on um, a lot more comfortable. Wow! You, you won't be able, you won't have to fight the steering as much. Um, we didn't really have a problem. I'm really surprised with 33 inch tires, the steering box, and the uh, components that we had. When we first lifted the Jeep, it wasn't too hard to steer the Jeep unless we were standing so. Right. So this will actually, we won't even know. Like, there will be almost zero resistance between the steering wheel and the front tires. Wow. So like quite literally, we could blow things up this way. We could DB tires, we could do a lot of damage because we're not going to be able to feel what the tires are doing, but we can go to a larger tire and not have any issues. So I don't, I don't want to break anything. <laughs> we won't break anything. I, I mean, know. That's where I come in as a spotter and I'm watching and I'll yeah. be work with each other on this What shirt you got on today? Seats made in Utah. Yeah, Cabrera seats made in Utah uh, for, well, as it says, uh, street track and off-road um they're an awesome company awesome company and uh, they're utah based so we're supporting our local folks for sure and your hat is the uh cc auto parts, CC auto parts napa those guys are amazing yeah so big shout out to corvo big shout out to napa and big shout out to gary vines and you know you helped us out a Yay. lot in this project so can't wait to see what I really appreciate it. how it turns out